hey guys um it's bianca and i just got off of work so all right let me just tell y'all number one my job is not trying to let me get thick at all why you ask or why do i say that because they like to make me walk Sorry if I'm looking all over the place. I'm trying to get out of the parking lot. Because we were very, apparently we were very busy today. And the normal parking lot that I normally go in was full. So I had to park in a different parking lot. And this one is pretty much, well was pretty much full. Now everybody's going home. Um... But, yeah. Anyway, my job is not trying to let me get thick. Because they like to make me walk. I think I already said that. But, yeah, they like to make me walk. And they, I don't know. So, if you don't know, I work at a hospital. And I do food and nutrition there. So I, you know, take menus, uh, bring up the food, make sure that it goes with their correct diet. Like if they, you know, are diabetic, you know, not giving them too much sugar or not giving them too much things with sugar in it and giving them like Splenda Equal, all that stuff like that. And it's pretty good. Like, you know, you get to help them. Um... Of course, sometimes they need a little bit more help than just food. So I try to help as much as I can because I know the nurses can be pretty busy. Um, but yeah, like we have, in my department, we have different, um, different positions. So, you know, of course we have people making the food, serving the food. Um, we have, there are some floors that we have where one person takes the menu and then somebody else passes it out. It just all depends on what type of floor it is. Um, and then we have floors where, you know, the same person takes the menu and passes out the tray or the food. Um, and then we have floors like mine, which are, you take the menu, you pass out the food, um, and this, like, you do this throughout the day. So when you get new people, of course, you have to go around and take their menus and, you know, get them something that they like. Um, and then, you know, of course, people are on medicine and, you know, people aren't feeling well. So sometimes they might order something and they might change their mind or they might, you know, not be able to tolerate it. It might make them sick or whatever the case is. So then, you know, it's your job to run down and get them something a little bit more to their liking um and then also on my floor um in addition to taking their menus and giving them food and all that good stuff um we also have to in the morning we uh pass out like coffee juice all that good stuff before breakfast and then right before dinner we pass out coffee juice um, and little goodies like cookies and stuff like that. Um, but today was very interesting um, because I'm fairly new in the job. And I took, like, I, I kind of was someone's opposite. So the person whose floor, the person whose floor I'm on, so to speak, um, they've been there for, you know, a good amount of years, and they're very, like, they're very good at their job. They're very well respected, all of that. And then, you know, they always go above and beyond for their, their patients. So, you know, the patients and the nurses and the doctors all expect that same level of service from anybody else that's there. Um, so, like, you know, whenever they were off, I would come in and, you know, work the rest of the time and then they had to take some time off and now 
they're vast, but they're still not, you know, you can imagine that's like a lot of work and a lot of like pushing carts and all of that. Because we push all of the, all of the trays in like two carts, two metal carts at the same time each meal. So you can imagine that's a lot, um, you know, for somebody that had to take time off and now they're back. Um, so, nonetheless, um, now that that person is back, but they're not on the floor, I'm sorry if this is confusing, but now that that person is back, but they're not necessarily working that floor at, for the time being, um, I'm kind of like the main person on the floor, and then, you know, it's kind of like whoever they can schedule in. Um, for when I'm off. So, the interesting part is, you know, it's always somebody different. And, you know, there's a joke that, um, like, now that uh, that person isn't there anymore, that there's a joke going around that, like, I'm not allowed to have a day off because it seems that when I have a day off, everything is kind of like a disaster and everything's all over the place. Um, and it's not really a hard job, it's just, you know, like a lot to do. Um, but if you, you know, manage your time and all of that, you'll be able to get it done. But, you know, it just seems to, like according to them, that like when I'm not there, it's a little crazy so then they had a few people on my floor but I guess that wasn't working out so then they put someone different on my floor that um, is not used to that level or I, I don't know for sure but it seems that they're not used to that type of floor where not only is it a lot to do so to speak but um, you know, they're used to a certain level of service. So it's already a lot to do just by the nature of the position. But then, because they're used to, like, getting what they want, when they need it, all of that, and not getting it, it was just, just an adventure. Um, so I, I actually came in today. I wasn't completely off. I came in around lunchtime. And I'm looking around, looking around for the person, and I don't see him. And then it gets closer and closer to lunch, I don't see him. So then I, uh, I call my phone, like the little phone that I have on the job uh, for, you know, nurses and doctors and um, patients and all of that to reach me. So I call that number from our little office phone, and they, you know, finally pick up. And, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, just wanted to check up on you. I, you know, they're about to do the cart. So, are you ready? Yada, yada. And they're like, Bianca, can you come up here? I need your help. And I'm like, okay. So, then I run up there. And they're like, oh, you know, I couldn't get all the menus done. Which is, you know, understandable because it's a lot. I had a full house today. So, all the beds on the floor that I do were full. And they had a few people, like, they had a few guests. So we had to take care of that as well. So, you know, it, w it was a little bit much for them. And so I was like, okay, well, um, you know, I'll help you out. So they were like, okay, you know, if you can finish up for me, I'll go downstairs and let them know that, you know, that we're not ready for lunch. Yet. And for them to, like, skip over you and then as soon as you're ready, put you back in. So, you know, she does that and then. She kind of like did some little odds and ends for me as well, to like so that I wouldn't be too behind. Um, and so I finished that. I go downstairs, get everything ready for the car, and then I still had to wait. <laughs> so I still had to wait. Not only did I still have to wait, but I guess someone had printed the tickets for like for the menus um, for my car. And they printed it before she was done. So it was just all over the place. And then I had to replace the those tickets with the new tickets. But, you know, the person who was putting everything on the car was kind of like, well, I already kind of set everything up for it. And it's going to be 
a lot for me to change it. So then that was something, but then, you know, they finally were just like, okay, you know, if you just tell me what you need, I'll, I'll get it for you. But, you know, on both of our ends, it took a lot more time than it needed. Um, so then I get up there and everybody, and mind you, um, when I called the person, like, to see how they were doing and all that, you know, they had the phone for the floor. And then, um, after I went up there and they left, I realized they still had the phone. So then I was trying to find them and I couldn't. And then I was trying to track down my phone and I couldn't. And apparently, like, you know, nurses and doctors were calling, but of course they weren't reaching me. So then it was just a lot going on. But I get up to my floor because of, like, the whole situation of me having to finish the menus and then, um me having to wait later like not not like oh, okay as, as soon as I finish my tickets I can just jump in you know when they finish whatever cart they're on no I had to wait so it's like it was just crazy it was very crazy um and my people are used to getting their food early or on time <laughs> so I was an hour Like from the norm, like I didn't get up there until like one, and my people are used to getting their food like eleven thirty. If things are running behind, like if we have a lot of patients that day on different floors, then they might get it like eleven forty-five, twelve o'clock. So it's one o'clock. Of course, patients are calling, and then they can't reach me to kind of like get an answer of what's going on, and I'm too busy downstairs trying to like you know, hustle and, like, get my stuff done to even, like, run upstairs or whatever. So, that was interesting. But, you know, my floor knows me and they know my work ethic and they know who I am. So, they, you know, of course, they were kind of, like, wondering, like, what's going on. But um, they all had a feeling like something crazy must have been going on. And, you know, and some of them saw me come up and talk to the lady and say, you know, when she needed help and all that. So they kind of knew, like, oh, okay, something's going on. Um, so then I just explained it to them very briefly, and they were fine. Um, but, you know, they said the same thing that they always say, like, you know, like that little joke that continues to go on. Like, you know, this is why you can't have a day off because... When you're off, or even if you're, like, not here for part of the day, things are a disaster. And it's, like, some people, I mean, I feel bad because I feel like I'm talking bad about people, but I'm not. I'm just kind of sharing the, sharing the experience. But some people that have been put on my floor, like, the reason why I was, the reason why it was a disaster was because, they just didn't want to work and it was like you know it's a lot of work and so they just didn't want to do it and they just didn't really commit to it but then I can understand like today I felt like I didn't feel like it was like laziness from this person I felt like it was just a lot and I had a full house too so I just felt like it was just a lot to juggle and all of that but it's like when you have a floor and we also get like surveys and all of that so you know they they, you know, they look at that and they say, like, on their survey, oh, you know, I had a great time, you know, yada, 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 or I didn't have a great time. I had to wait an hour for my lunch and I, nobody had an answer and, you know, things were wrong and then, you know, so, you know, that makes a difference. And then also, you know, even, I feel like even if there wasn't a survey, I would still care because, like, these are patients that, you know, they're in the hospital. Nobody really wants to be in the hospital. Like, unless you're having a baby or something joyful like that, you don't really want to be in the hospital. So, you know, they're already going through whatever they are going through. And then to have food on top of that, like, something that should just be so simple becomes so, um, just all over the place and so complicated. It's just unfortunate. Um, but... And then on top of that, um, this week we're having, like, remodeling. 
And so we normally have like a big variety of what we can give patients. But this week we only have like a couple of options um, when it comes to hot food. Our cold food is fine, but when it comes to hot food, we only have a couple of options. And they gave us a list of like, you know, the main entree of the day, like for like lunch and dinner, breakfast is always the same, but the main entree and then like what they can and can't make on top of that. So, you know, we might have like a certain, like a certain meal and then we might have like chicken tenders, fried burger, and then like cold sandwiches and stuff like that. But, you know, that's pretty much all we can do today rather than like, it's a lot of food that we can offer normally. So they gave us a list and I guess just um, like between just being so overwhelmed, the person just kind of like forgot or you know, whatever. And so they offered some of the patients some of the food that we're not able to do right now. So on top of their food being late, now I have to give them the bad news. Like not only is your food late, but what you want is not available. So now I had to give them something else and they weren't very happy, but you know, I always try and like explain it to them and apologize and all that. And usually they're fine. Um, but yeah, today was interesting and I don't know. I kind of like questioned telling the story because I didn't want it to be like, just me like venting or complaining but obviously it's not it's just kind of like like number one just me kind of sharing my day but also like sharing just how important it is to um to match people with their ability you know and to match yourself with your ability you know we all get so hard on ourselves and all of that for you know what we can and can't do but we need to match ourselves of course you know always strive to grow and all that but like when it comes to something like you know at my job all of that could have been avoided had we had someone who is kind of like used to that workflow and used to that level of expect expectancy as well as that as well as with the volume of patients um and then also it just kind of like taught me um just how um you know things you go through they're either gonna I, I feel like I'm being so like corny but honestly um things you go through like when you feel like you're gonna like break or whatever they're you know those type of things they're usually meant to help you grow um but then there are other things that you get to and I feel like today was one of those days where it was like honestly it was a pretty rough day if I'm being honest but I like I was on it I was on it and it wasn't overwhelming and I was like kind of surprised like when I actually stopped I was like and I only like the only thing where I felt fatigue is where I was like okay I'm hungry and I haven't taken because I took my break very late because I wanted to make sure that everything was set everything was done you know everything set for tomorrow because you know a lot of times when you get behind like it can be as simple as one meal then everything's behind and I wanted to make sure that you know whoever's coming in tomorrow because I don't come in until the afternoon Whoever's coming in tomorrow, they're good. All the patients are good. All of that. Um, but, you know, I stopped and I was like, okay, I'm hungry. I need to eat. You know, refresh myself and get back on it. But other than me just getting really hungry from, like, walking around and not really eating a lot, um, I didn't feel the overall stress. Like, I just kind of, like, was, like, really focused. Like, okay, this is what needed to be done. And I was kind of, like very productive like how how do I do this like how do I still give them 110 percent while also like cutting down on the time because I'm gonna have to make the like I'm gonna have to speed this up real quick um so of course dinner went smooth everybody's menus are in you know everything's fine and you know the patients are happy the um nurses are happy doc well I didn't really see any doctors but I would imagine they're happy too because they don't have to hear the complaints as much. 
Um, but I feel like today was one of those days where it kind of like let me see how far I am when it comes to dealing with stress and all that. Because I like things to go like, you know, in order. I like order. I like things to be together. And when they're not, or when it's something, you know, as serious. Because, you know, also when it comes to food, people like, not only is it like, oh, you know, they're in the hospital for something. And, you know, they have to wait for their food. But a lot of times they have to wait for medicine because they have to take medicine with food or, you know, anything. So, you know, that messes everything up for them as well. So I, you know, normally I feel really bad. And I did, like, I felt a little bit bad in that regard. Like, oh, you know, I really need to get this up to them and make sure that they have everything that they need and all that. But I wasn't overwhelmed. And I was surprised and I was kind of proud of myself because I was like, Oh, this kind of helps me, like, this helps me see, like, how far I've come, you know? Like, yeah, I can be a perfectionist sometimes, but that works to my advantage. If, if I allow that, like, if I allow it, it'll work to my advantage. Instead of, like, worrying and kind of shutting down, um, I was like, "Uh uh-uh, this needs to get done, it's gonna get done. And, you know just how positive I was I wasn't mad at the other person you know I saw their side and I saw just how everything was and even you know people didn't you know maybe didn't know that that's what happened and they just saw um that I was kind of like going pretty much last um like I was going so late after and, you know, people don't understand and they say little things like, oh, you know, doesn't she know how to do her job? And it's like, it literally just kind of like rolled off. I was like, I've been here long enough. I know what I'm doing and I'm not doing this for other people. I'm doing this for the patients. And I find joy in knowing that they're fed and that they know that we care about them. That's my main thing. Um... But even as the day went on, some of those people were like, oh no, I think something happened or whatever. But even if they hadn't, I still wouldn't care. And that, you know, that's another thing that kind of like allowed me to see where I am in my personal growth. And of course, I still have a lot of growing to do. A lot. I, yeah, I have a lot of growing to do. But... Like, I feel like today, it was such a potentially rough day. Um, It kind of, instead of, like, making me angry or making me just kind of, like... Or I I don't know why I would get angry. But, like, instead of making me super stressed out, it just showed me, like, okay, like, you, like, like, oh, you've already reached this level, you know? Like, this level is a breeze for you. And so... I don't know but yeah I just kind of wanted to say like do you guys feel that that happens sometimes like yeah you have these rough days and they're kind of like character builders you know like they're um they're so so rough and you know you just gotta push 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 and it's like meant to like help you grow like you know there's those type of days but then there's also days that um you look at them like after the fact or maybe in the middle when you have a chance to breathe and you realize like wait a minute like a couple years ago or a couple months ago or a couple whenever ago had this happened to me and you know hearing all the nonsense I would have felt like this or I would have you know been upset or I would have done this and then seeing how you're handling it and being like like seeing your growth like some things are meant to help you grow and then other things are meant to show you how much you've already grown so it's kind of like it's a balance you know some things are meant to show you where you need to grow and then some things are meant to show you like hey you're you're doing a good job like you're you're here like okay like you know so yeah i'm just wondering if you guys have um, any stories or if you ever feel like that but this video is entirely too long 
So I'm going to let you guys go. But of course, um, you know, stay tuned and stay in contact and all that stuff. All right, bye.